And Bemidji's first round opponent will be another Northwoods team in Grand Rapids. This will be the Thunderhawks' first trip to state since 2007, where they finished second after falling to Roseau 5-1 in the state title game. To get to state, the Thunderhawks knocked off Nemesis and seven-time defending section AA champion Duluth East when Alex Adams scored with less than 10 seconds to go last Thursday. A lot of support from the community and town of Grand Rapids. I mean, after the game, I mean, the, my phone was just lit up with congratulations. It's been a special few days and, uh, you know, I keep uh, going back to that uh, video of when Al scored and just, uh, I keep smiling every time I see it. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be a fun week and I'm looking forward to it. For the hero, things have been a little different since then. It's been great to just walk down the hallways in school or just go out to eat at any restaurant and there's always people coming up to you saying congratulations or nice job. and. Uh, it's really special, especially in this big of a hockey community. But now with Grand Rapids' first state tournament trip in nine years looming, the team is turning their attention to the games at hand. There's obviously been a lot of commotion going on with that, and it's been pretty hard to stay focused, but uh, you just got to go to bed at night thinking that uh, you still have three more games and still have a big state tournament to come through with. I think if we just stay focused and uh, keep doing what we've been doing, we'll be just fine. And without many of the perennial teams, such as Duluth East, Edina, and Hill Murray, the Thunderhawks view the tournament as wide open and theirs for the taking. I think it's always in the back of your mind that uh, you have a, a big chance to win the state the state championship. Uh, you know, every team down there is down there for a reason. You know, they beat those good teams for a reason. So um, we're going to have to bring it every single game and treat it just like uh, we would with anybody else. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.